here in Tampa Bay. We are at One Buck Place, the training camp facility. Beautiful city down here, and we're looking forward to a bunch of the players joining us in just a bit. But first, we go to the association. So after agreeing to a huge three-year extension with the Thunder, Russell Westbrook spoke to the media yesterday in OKC about his former teammate, KD. Take a listen. There's nowhere else I would rather be um, than Oklahoma City. You guys have um, basically kind of raised me. I've been there since I was, you know, 18, 19 years old. And, man, you guys uh, did nothing but uh, great things for me through the good and the bad. You guys supported me, um, you know, overall through it all, and I appreciate it. And uh, definitely when I had the opportunity to be able to be loyal to you guys, um, that's the number one option, and, and loyalty is something I stand by. I talked to Kevin, uh, you know, prior to, um, you know, early on in the process, but uh, nothing after. It's just a, a text message from him. That's about it. I understand free agency. I understand, uh, you know, have an opportunity to go where we need to go. But um, uh, once that happened, I, I told Sam, what's next? And to me, that's just my mentality to be able to find out now what's the next thing we need to do to help our team win. Stephen A., we discussed this topic yesterday from Redskins camp. Now that you've heard from Westbrook, does KD look worse today than he did yesterday? Yes, he does. I don't think there's any question about it, Ryan. Let me be very, very clear. <clears throat> Kevin Durant, my position has always been you had no business going to the team that beat you. Had no problem with him leaving. Um, and I've maintained that, and I still maintain that. It's not that he left. It's that he went to the Golden State Warriors, a team you were up 3-1 on in the Western Conference Finals, not once, not twice, but three times you failed to close the door, and a legitimate argument could be made that you choked in game six. You had no business going. That's jumping on the bandwagon. It's, you know, it's, it, There's a difference between champions and, and those who just came along for the ride, and we'll find out what Kevin Durant is uh, once next season rolls around. Having said all of that, that's the only issue I had with him mm -hmm. until yesterday. Mm -hmm. When I listen to Russell Westbrook, this is the Kevin Durant that in the past came at my man Skip Bayless, who sat in that chair for, for, for years, came at me, came at the media and questioned everybody's intelligence and IQ. He, he attacked everybody. Most of the time, it was because he was defending Russell Westbrook. Even called Mark Cuban an idiot and, you know, all of this other stuff. I mean, he was just, he just, he was just on a warpath. All in defense of Russell Westbrook. Because nobody ever attacked Kevin Durant. I mean, you talk about a dude that had, I mean, Kevin Durant may have had the longest honeymoon in the history of basketball. <laughs> because tell me, what, what has anybody ever said about this guy? He is a good person. He is a good man. He is a great basketball ambassador. He is one of the top three players in the world. His mama's wonderful. His mm -hmm. brother's good people. His inner circle is cool. Rock Nation cats who represent him. I know them. They all good people. The bottom line is Kevin Durant, nobody ever went at Kevin Durant for anything. And he hasn't won a championship. He would usually instigate diatribes against him because he would step into the fray to defend Russell Westbrook, his little brother, his teammate, et cetera, et cetera. And then we find out yesterday that Russell Westbrook found out that Kevin Durant was leaving from a text and from social media? Weak. You mean you didn't pick up the phone and call his brother and have a conversation with him? And talk to him? Let me tell y'all a little secret. Skip Bayless is gone. I knew he was gone weeks before. Because we talked. And he told me. Management, everybody knew. I mean, we knew. It was we talked. That's the guy I'm working with. We have a relationship with. No matter who comes along. It's going to always be my man. Respect. How is it that you're a teammate of this man? For eight years and a text message or not even a phone call, if it were me, I would have flew to Russell Westbrook in his face and I would have told him or at the very least call. So it really, really, I mean, I called Kevin Durant's move to go to Golden State, the weakest move I've ever seen by a superstar. This is week move number two. 
Because so, I don't understand how you could not go to that man and how he had to find out that way. So, so, so I agree with all of those things. And I am in no way in defense of Kevin Durant at all. I have nothing to say to defend him. I like Kevin Durant. So do I. I went to, when I came back to Washington, I went to watch OKC play in New Orleans. He dapped me off like, hey, man, welcome back home. Huge fan. This doesn't necessarily make me look at Kevin Durant any less than I did before as it makes me know that Russell Westbrook is who I thought he was. See, Russell Westbrook is that dude that when you bring him to a party, when he's your best friend, you're almost scared for him to meet other people because you don't know how to describe him because he's kind of <laughs> intense. He's kind of angry. You don't necessarily know how cool he is, but he's your boy because he's loyal. He's your boy because he understands friendship. He's your boy because you but you know no matter what, if I ask you to do something for me, you're going to do it with the 100% of your being. And that's always who I thought Russell Westbrook was. I always thought Kevin Durant had number one basketball skills. I never thought he had number one basketball character. I never thought he had number one basketball charisma. I never thought he had number one player basketball personality. And he doesn't. Russell Westbrook does. Russell Westbrook, after all that being said, after Kevin Durant, now when you ask him about contacting Russell about his contract, oh, we will talk. Russell Westbrook, they asked him yesterday about not talking to Kevin. And you know what he said? He said, we'll talk. Because we had eight years together. And you do not just throw that away. After all that's happened, after at the Kevin Durant leaving for Golden State, at the Kevin Durant not calling, not texting, after now even saying, I don't, I'm not going to contact him right now about the contract, it's too much going on. Russell Westbrook got on that podium where he could have denounced Kevin Durant in front of the OKC, OKC fans. Could have said, you know what? I'm not worried about him. Forget him. We don't need to talk. He left me. He, he did this. He did that. He said, you know what? We will talk. So it doesn't say less to me about Kevin Durant because I already thought after he made the move and all the things that I heard that it was weak because you don't do that. You're not going to beat me. Then I want to be your friend. If the Baltimore Ravens beat me in the AFC championship, I'm not playing safety next to Ed Reed the next year. I'm playing with Troy. We're going to beat you with my homeboys. Right. It says so, more to you about right. Russell Westbrook's character. But it says character. to me about Russell Westbrook. This is why that's my guy. And if he shoots it 40 times, he deserves to I, because he is a leader. I agree with every word that you said about Russell Westbrook. Totally. Um, but the reality is clear. You could say it doesn't make Kevin Durant look worse. I think it does. I think it does because, again, the move to go to Golden State is the weakest move I've ever seen by a superstar. So much so that if they win the championship with him next year, unless Steph Curry and Klay Thompson go down or they just it wet the bed, I, I just I don't I'm not gonna look at him the same way I'm gonna look at them as champions. Right. He will be a champion, but I won't view him the same. But I tell you this, the kind of man that he is, because Kevin Durant is a good brother by all accounts for anybody who knows him. The fact that he's such a good person, I can't believe. That being that good person that he is, that you don't know, that it would be, it, it would have been the appropriate yep. thing to do to pick up the phone. I'd love to hear from him to say why he didn't call him. Hey, we we used to always say, man, don't be my TV friend. Don't don't defend me when the camera's on. Don't defend me when they have microphones in your face. I'm, I'm not talking about TV. No, no, no that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. When right. it was time, he didn't show the same friendship that he made us all believe. That's he right. had us fooled. Exactly. Yeah. That's my point, and that's why it looks worse. Great conversation there. When we come back from Bucks camp, we have a guy who's coming off a resurgent Pro Bowl season, and he just got locked up through 2020. Bucks running back Doug Martin will be with us next. Stay right here.